What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to a little bit of FNAF news. This isn't anything massive, uh, it's actually rather small, I think. First of all, uh, Felix the Shark was due to come today, the 1st of February. However, it has been secretly postponed to the 5th of April. Now, I don't know if I missed some sort of FNAF news, I could have easily done that. Uh, but I never knew that this was a thing. I, I still thought that it was coming out on the 1st of February. Which means that it has been postponed from January, the beginning of January, to the beginning of April. So that's a, like a four month total, uh, total postponing. Um, <laughs> postponing? That's, that's not a word, is it? It is a word, but I just used it in the complete wrong context. So Felix the Shark, you're not going to get any audiobooks for another two months. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, it is not my fault. Of course, I found out about all of the stories in Felix the Shark back in, I think it was November. So I knew all the stories before, like six months before the release date, which is crazy. If you want to check out my summary videos, uh, I think I did all of them except the second one. If you want to see me do a summary of the second story in Felix the Shark before it comes out, then make sure to tell me in the comments below because I can easily do that. But apart from that, um, some of the bigger kind of FNAF news, that, that's all kind of sad, disheartening that we don't have Felix the Shark now. Instead, today, we got a little bit of uh, kind of an update on the Fazbeth Wright's graphic novel adaptations. Um, and... I don't know what to say, really. I'm gonna let you guys discuss this in the comments, um, but the cover for the first uh, collection of the graphic novel, of the Fazbear Frights graphic novels, has been updated. Um, so the first one looked like this. Uh, it's a sick cover. It's clearly the plush trap chaser. You know, we've got the human eyes. Um, I believe that there's human teeth there as well. Uh, it, it's all very detailed, very nice. Uh, I like it overall. I, th I think it's a really good cover, but we're not getting that cover anymore. No more of that cover. We're now getting this. Now, again, discuss this in the comments, but I have a lot of problems with this cover. Um, and it's just by the way it looks. One thing I will say is you can't even read the word novel. It, it, li it looks Spanish. <laughs> Graphic El Collection. Uh, that was not a Spanish accent. It's just a little bit sloppy, I think. I, I think I think one of the main things that's like the most sloppiest thing here is the Fazbear Frights Graphic Novel Collection Volume 1 title. Um, it doesn't stand out. You can't read it very well. Um, it, it, it needs to be changed, I think. The art... The art is pretty cool. But it's just plush trap. There's no human eyes. There's no human teeth. It's it's just a plush trap. And it's in the same sort of area. It's it's sort of plush trap. The plush trap chaser kind of breaking through uh, a door or a wall or something uh, made of wood. But it doesn't have the same energy for me. Sure, it's kind of aggressive, and I would say it's more aggressive. Like the first one is kind of like a puppy looking through like a hatch in the door, uh, and this one is more scary. I, I I, think this has potential. I just think it's a little bit sloppy in a lot of different places, and it's not the plush trap chaser that we know from Fast for Frights. And that actually worries me for the novel, for the graphic novels, um, because that might mean there's gonna be a lot more inaccuracies than, than there could be. I'm not opposed to this art, of course, um, but the main thing that I should actually talk about here is that it is like the reason they did this, because the first one was fine, right? Well, apparently, and I'm saying this apparently, uh, they they kind of traced over someone's render of a plush trap chaser, uh, and then the other issue, well, it's not really an issue, just people made a big thing of it is that the door handle is actually the exact same door handle from the first Tales from the Peterplex cover, uh, Lally's Game. 
and obviously people saw issue with that and it had to be changed. Uh, I'm glad they did change it for those kind of reasons, uh, obviously that's very good of them, but it's it's now really sloppy and I, I prefer the original Fazbear Frights logo. Um, I, I don't know why they made it so complicated. They, it literally doesn't need to be that complicated. If they stuck with the original text on the original cover, uh, I think this could actually work. I think it, yeah, I think it could work pretty well. But it, it's just the fact that the color blending is not okay. There's less detail on the cover. Yeah, I have a, I have quite a few issues with it. So let me know in the comments as well. Do you believe the same as me? Do you do you think that the first cover was better than the second cover? Obviously, this wasn't a massive video. Uh, it was just covering this tiny little thing, but just to let you guys know about this new cover uh, so that you don't get surprised <laughs> when you see it in the store and you're like, oh, that's not the cover I saw on Ozone's channel. I'm a little bit disappointed, obviously, but what had to be done had to be done. And hopefully they will update it once again with kind of uh, with a, a few touch-ups I think I think this could be perfect if they touch a few things about it up so um, yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed consider subscribing it's completely free and you'd be cool I've been Ozone but I have to go zone I'll see you later goodbye <laughs>